Hey folks, so the Dark Souls enemies, items, bosses, randomized run is over. And we had a blast, and I think I saw and experienced pretty much everything that I could in the game. But there were a few bosses in particular that we never got to see for a few different reasons, like they would just die off camera randomly when we were roughly in the vicinity. And so we ended the playthrough with a few small question marks. So today, I promised I would do this. I'm going into the randomizer mods data to see exactly what we missed. So the randomizer mod spits out a log when it does the randomizing, when it messes with the game's code. And here is that notepad file. Wow, this is probably the most gripping gameplay you're going to see on YouTube today. Oh boy. Look at all this code. Okay, so it does it area by area. Right now we're looking at the depths. So it shows you like, here's, here's like all the enemies on this side. Uh, like small rat replaced with slime. Small rat replaced with crow demon. There we go. Gaping dragon replaced with... Artorius! I remember that. It was quite a bad time in my life. Now we never got to see what was inside the Capra Demon's room. It was empty by the time we got there because whatever was inside had died. So, here come answers. Undead Berg. There it is. Capra Demon with Demon Fire Sage. Not surprised it died. Was probably just too big for the arena and popped like a giant fleshy water balloon. Let's find the gargoyles. This is weird. Looking at the bell gargoyles, which were replaced with uh, Seath the Scaleless and Ornstein. I remember that. But there's another bell gargoyle here, which was replaced by one of the four kings. I don't really understand that. Someone who understands Dark Souls code better than me, explain in the comments how there are three bell gargoyles enemies. <laughs> Painted world. Okay, this will be interesting because we did get Priscilla in the painted world. Where is she? Crossbreed Priscilla with crossbreed Priscilla. <laughs> okay, so I guess there was a, a, it did conduct a replacement there. It was just, we were just unlucky or lucky, depending on how you want to think about it to get Priscilla. What about the, okay, right, here we go. So, un dead dragon the undead dragon was replaced with the gaping dragon and then yeah do you remember that invincible mushroom child so the mushroom child was replacing a bounding demon which are the sort of bums of undead dragons you mostly see them loads in the demon ruins they kind of copy pasted around in that big lava room so that's why we couldn't defeat that mushroom child because it was replacing an unkillable bottom half of the undead dragon. Makes sense, and obviously I use the word sense extremely loosely. Dark Group Garden, Manus was down here, right? Moonlight Butterfly with Pinwheel, Hydra replaced with Manus, Father of the Abyss, and Sif replaced with Taurus Demon. Yeah, no surprises there. DLC, okay, so the Sanctuary Guardian was replaced with Black Dragon Calamite, memorably says there's two other sanctuary guardians that were replaced with the lightning gargoyles and the capra demon respectively so that's because if you go back to the sanctuary guardians room there are two sanctuary guardians there that you can fight again i think most people miss that probably understandably and th there's not too much point in it but had i gone back to the sanctuary guardians room i would have found a gargoyle and a capra demon. Boy, that would have been easy. <laughs> Man, I really got the unluckiest configuration of this. Artorius replaced with Sanctuary Guardian. Yep, did me a massive favor there. Thanks for that. Manus, Father of the Abyss, replaced with Gwyn. And Calamite replaced with Smau. Yep, I was hoping here that I might somehow find some answers as to why Gwyn kept respawning after the rest of the bonfire but there are none. There are, however, some comments on that YouTube video offering what I think is extremely plausible speculation. Let me read one of those out. Bidey Rocks 8520 my guess is that since Gwyn is the final boss and the game normally ends when you beat him, they didn't bother putting the non-respawning enemy code in his character file. Uh, although some other commenters are suggesting that it's actually to do with like the Manus code. 
Dragon Sword 8247 says, I had the same thing happen after my Manus fight, but I had Priscilla, so I just started getting slapped around by an invisible force, and it took me a moment to realize what was happening. So interesting, might not be to do with Gwyn, might be more to do with Manus. We may never know for sure, but boy, it was a good time. Catacombs, pinwheel replaced with Bell Gargoyle, which I, if I recall, its AI was broken, so it just stood there, which made the fight a hundred times harder than it usually is. Tomb of the Giants. Man, this place sucked so bad. It was the actual worst. Look at all these skeleton beasts. That's that's what bone dogs are. Grave Lord Nito replaced with Grave Lord Nito. That was a bit of bad luck. Randomizer just spitting out the same boss again. But look here, Grave Lord Nito replaced with Quilag, remember this was the Grave Lord Nito that you can swear allegiance to. So that's the the Covenant one in in the in the boss room, but in a in the different setting that you get get to through the coffin. So there are actually two different Grave Lord Nitos. One of them got randomised back to itself, and one of them got randomised to Quilag. Great Hollow and Ash Lake. I think we didn't see too much of this, but look, the Hydra was replaced by the Sanctuary Guardian. Yeah, we saw that. Man, I'm so glad all these basilisks were just deleted. Blight Town, Quilag was replaced with a Four King. That's right, that was straightforward. Demon Ruins. Okay, so yeah, the Demon Fire Sage was replaced memorably with Artorius. Okay, right, so do you remember there were all these bosses? That's so interesting. So so normally elsewhere, where there's a sort of boss found normally, they were randomized to other bosses. Like for example, in the Valley of the Drakes, there was a, a dragon that got randomized to be uh, the Gaping Dragon. And in the Crystal Caverns, there was like seaths and pinwheels everywhere. But here, these Capra demons were just turned into normal enemies and, and ditto for these Taurus demons. So these bounding demons of Isolith these all would have spawned in in the middle of the lava, and so I think immediately died. I saw some folks theorizing in the comments that at the point where we just got loads of souls approaching like a, a locked door, that might have been all of these replaced enemies dying at once. Centipede Demon replaced by not fireproof Super Ornstein. Fantastic. Ceaseless Discharge became the Centipede Demon, that's right. And the bed of chaos turned into Black Dragon Calamite. Hooray. Sense Fortress, I think it was just the Iron Golem here, yeah. Iron Golem replaced with Ornstein. Anor Londo, and that's right, and Gwendolyn was replaced with Sif. Who I spared! And then everyone's like, oh, you left Sif to be to, to run endlessly in a corridor. That's not sparing, that's a horrible existence. Well, it's a horrible existence everywhere in Dark Souls, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm knocking things over. New Londo Ruins. Okay, this is the one that I think people are waiting for, so it was nice of the mod to randomize it near the end of the text file for maximum drama. Okay, so the Four Kings, when we went into the Four Kings fight, there was a Quilag and a Smau, and I killed the Quilag very, very quickly, and so we never found out who the other two Four Kings were. Now, it was explained to me by the helpful, wise, and sage commenters, but in fact, there are five Four Kings. There's a Four King underneath the map, and all the Four Kings are, are sharing that one's health bar. So when you damage one, it's that health bar, it's that hidden health bar, that actually gets sort of chipped away at. So probably whatever spawned beneath the map, that four king was replaced by a pretty weak boss. So let's get the answers we crave. Okay, New Londo Ruins, Dark Wraiths, Hollows, Ghosts. Okay, four kings. One was Quilag and one was Smau. Those are the ones we saw. And then there was also supposed to be a Bell Gargoyle, an Iron Golem, and a Grave Lord Nito. So I'm not sure I have any way of knowing which one is the fifth king hidden under the map. I'm gonna guess it was an Iron Golem or, or a Bell Gargoyle, because it was very, very weak. I don't think it could have been Grave Lord Nito underneath, because Grave Lord Nito has a whole, like a big health bar. So I think the fight would have taken longer if that was the case. But that would have been probably the most fun permutation of this, because then we would have got 
relatively weak bosses like a Bell Gargoyle, an Iron Golem, a Smau, and a Quilag spawning in for as long as necessary until we'd depleted Nito's health bar. But I think had I let that fight play out, we probably would have seen a Gravelord Nito pop in, but it would have been sharing a health bar with a hidden Bell Gargoyle or Iron Golem, so I don't think it would have been too difficult to kill. It's very interesting because the whole way through this playthrough we were all dreading the Four Kings boss fight because we thought well the Four Kings are going to be replaced with other bosses and it's going to be staggeringly hard but in fact the fact that they all have this linked health bar with one underneath means that well I don't know I suppose it, if you've if it's linked if they're all linked to a hidden Manus who's like far beneath the map and you've got four calamites above ground linked to it, then yeah, that would be almost undoable. But but on the other hand, it doesn't really matter what spawns, which four spawn above ground, if you only have to hit them like twice, because under there, it's like a Taurus demon or something. So super interesting. I'm really enjoying the way that this randomizer run is like intersecting with some of the hidden behind the scenes coding of the game. Duke's archives and crystal cave. So these are the ones in the crystal caves where the, there are moonlight butterflies and we got a seeth a pinwheel and a stray demon and then yeah seeth was generously replaced with a taurus demon that was lovely now interestingly i don't see another seeth on this list which means that the first time you encounter seeth in that scripted event where you're definitely going to die so you end up in prison i don't think the game has that seeth logged as an enemy or possibly the mod just deliberately skips it because it would break the game. Kiln of the First Flame. Look at all these enemies that would normally be Black Knights. Horrible. Some of these probably, like great, there was supposed to be a great feline in the Kiln of the First Flame. Didn't see that, so that must have just sort of spawned somewhere where it died straight away. It could have been that the great feline was the source of that soul farm. And then in the Undead Asylum, Stray Demon replaced with Centipede Demon, Asylum Demon replaced with Capra Demon. So there we go. So that's what everything was. Uh, I think that puts to bed most of the mysteries, but if there's anything that I miss, anything that I forgot, any questions that you do have about the playthrough that you think this text file could answer, pop them in the comments and I will, yeah, I'm happy to sort of re reply there and, and paste anything that might be useful. I very much enjoyed going through this text file, getting some answers. Yeah, thanks so much, gang. Thanks again for watching the whole playthrough. Hopefully this was a sort of fitting conclusion of sorts to that. And wow, what gripping gameplay. I mean, oh my gosh. I'm glad, I, I'm telling you what, I'm glad I'm capturing this at 60 FPS.